I'm going to do a camper window cover for a friend of mine and also a client by the name of L. Lindsay, who's a local Saginaw recording artist. L. Lindsay has really got some really smooth stuff, so I'm going to probably play his music while I'm actually doing the design for you. I've already got the camper cover already painted white. It was kind of distorted and weathered and uh, a little funky, so I got a nice base coat of white on there. And now I'm going to start laying out a design. The artist wants me to do an outdoor scene with lettering about his production company and his name um, on the design so that he can do a promotion whenever he's on site. Let's get started, shall we? I always recommend you wear a mask when you paint. A lot of times, for the sake of demonstration, I won't wear a mask. But just to show you how it looks when I do, this is what happens. I am now Uber Spoonie G, Uber Airbrush Expert, and I'm going to rock and roll you. Let's start with a little bit of a water background here, get everything all in perspective. I'm going to use a loose hand, free hand stencil. My type of artwork is actually called freehand airbrushing, but I do use a lot of stencils to make strong contrast and mix the medias up a little bit. The mediums that I'm using. Part of the design, I'm going to incorporate some piano keys going through the sky and then some pipes set down beneath it. Here's where I use a little bit more of my stencil. This is a pre-made stencil that I've made. I make my own stencils. Not everyone has the patience or the skill to do that, but it's really not that hard to do. This one here is made out of poster board. I'll use any kind of material, wax paper. She was a masking tape to make a stencil. So I'm going to have a negative release design, relief design on this background when I get done covering. Let's add more to this. I thought I'd turn it up a notch or two. Irony here is that the true challenge lies from within. Because I killed more than I led on. And I didn't want to get caught up, you know, like I was on the other CD. So I thought I'd just hit it one more time. <laughs> Metaphorically speaking, I found myself eating a bag of cheese. You know, free to lace. You just want to know, you just can't stop. Yeah, that's, that's my story. As a matter of fact, that's our story. The story of Charletta and I. I really want that airbrush look, so I'm going to make sure that it fades out of the particular piece of work that I'm working on. Fade in, fade out. That's airbrushing. wave action. Give them a couple little bonuses in here. Stuff that I normally wouldn't do, but what the heck. It makes me look good and it makes them look good. There's all kinds of ways to make mountains. I'm going to use some stencils with this just to make it a little faster. All kinds of ways. 
ready for the next phase of the design here. Take off the major stencil. Now we can start working on some lettering. So I'm going to put the airbrush away and start doing some lettering. And by that I mean hand lettering. To be a Uber airbrush artist, you have to do everything over. Man, I sure like that group. Yeah, keep it right there. Yeah. Just like the way they used to do a thing called sweet. Yeah. Now I'm talking about the Duke, the Count, Cab Calloway. Do a little calligraphy here. Diamond Washington. With some matching colors. Yeah. And even the late great Jay Lee. Well, we're almost done now Jay putting on the finishing touches. Even he did a little sweep. Yeah. Now moving on, let me tell my story. A little bit of shading to add a little bit of depth the club and uh, dimension to these the time piano keys. But suddenly, it struck me. Damn. She's just playing hard to get. And we just had a couple little more highlights. I wanted more than just call out a day. But you Another top notch done she was by Uber Airbus Experts, Uber Spoonie G. That's me. Check me out at uberairbusexpert.com. And stay tuned for some more demonstrations on how I Uberize airbrush artwork. Take her easy. Turn it up a notch, too. Irony here is that. The true challenge lied from within Because I cared more than I let on And I didn't want to get caught up, you know Like I was on the other CD So I thought I'd just hit it one more time <laughs> Metaphorically speaking, I found myself eating a bag of Cheetos You know, Frito-Lays After you eat just one and others just can't stop <laughs>